Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. AB plus BC is equal to 65 and AC plus BC is equal to 17. Our job is to find all possible values of A, B and C such that A, B and C are positive integers. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. First we start from this equation 2. Equation 2 is uh, A times C plus uh, B times C is equal to 17 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out C in bracket left uh, A plus uh, B is equal to 17. Now we have a product of uh, two factors at left hand side and uh, a b c are positive integers means that uh, a is greater than or equal to 1 and uh, b is greater than or equal to 1 and uh, c is uh, greater than or equal to 1. So we have two cases for this equation we can write this as uh, c times uh, a plus uh, b is equal to 17 times 1 and for the second case we can write this as c times a plus b is equal to 1 times 17. This is case 1 and this is case 2. First we solve this case 1. From here this c is equal to 17, c is equal to 17 and this a plus b, a plus b is equal to 1. Now because a is greater than or equal to 1 and b is greater than or equal to 1. So this a plus b, a plus b must be greater than or equal to 2. In this a plus b is equal to 1. So this is not possible. This case will be rejected. Now we solve this uh, second case, uh, from this case uh, this c is equal to 1, c is equal to 1 and uh, a plus uh, b is equal to 17. Now from this equation we move this b to the right hand side. So this will become a is equal to 17 minus b and we recall this uh, equation 1. Equation 1 is uh, A times B plus uh, B times C is equal to 65. This is equation number 1. Now from these two terms uh, AB plus BC we can factor out B and uh, in bracket left uh, A plus uh, C is equal to 65. And in this equation, we replace this A with this value 17 minus B and we replace this C with this value 1. So this will become B times A is 17 minus B plus C is 1 is equal to 65. Next, B times this is 17 plus 1 will become 18 minus b is equal to 65. Now b times 18 will become 18 b and b times negative b negative b squared is equal to 65. Move this 65 to the left hand side and rearrange these terms this will become negative b squared plus uh, 18 times uh, b minus 65 is equal to 0. Now to make this uh, negative b squared positive we multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So negative 1 times uh, negative b squared will become positive b squared and negative 1 times uh, 18b will become negative 18 times b 
negative 1 times uh, negative 65 will become plus uh, 65 is equal to 0 and this is a quadratic equation and factorable so we solve it by factorization we write this uh, b squared and we break this in negative 18 b into two terms uh, negative 13 times uh, b minus uh, 5 times uh, b plus uh, 65 is equal to 0 from these two terms uh, b squared minus uh, 13 b we can factor out b in bracket left uh, b minus 13 and uh, from these two terms uh, negative 5 b plus uh, 65 uh, we can factor out uh, negative 5 in bracket left uh, b minus 13 is equal to 0 and as you can see this expression b minus 13 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, b minus 13 and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left this b and this negative 5 in bracket left uh, b minus 5 is equal to 0 from here either this expression b minus 13 is equal to 0 or this expression b minus 5 is equal to 0 from uh, this equation we find the value of b is equal to 13 and from this equation we find the value of b is equal to 5 now to find the values of a we recall the equation we recall this equation a is equal to 17 minus b we recall that a is equal to 17 minus b so when b is equal to 13 then this will become a is equal to 17 minus 13 and from here we get the value of a is equal to 4 and uh, when b is equal to 5 then this will become a is equal to 17 minus 5 and a will be equal to 17 minus 5 12 so when b is equal to 13 then a will be 4 and when b will be 5 then a will be 12 and uh, we have already found that uh, c is equal to c is equal to 1 we have already found that c is equal to 1 and from this case to c is equal to 1 so the final set of solutions of uh, a comma b comma c is equal to the first set is 4 comma 13 comma 1 and the second is 12 comma 5 comma 1 so these are the two solutions for this equation this is the final answer of this problem.